Yeah, he is committing to bail. Let's go. That's pretty crazy. All right. So, haven't I? This might honestly be the first time I've commentated Bayonetta in this game, and like honestly, even seen her play. So, don't really know what to expect. I'm gonna imagine every single touch is a bad touch, and that they're gonna immediately die. So, uh, let's see how wrong I am, and we'll go from there. We'll we'll build up from that. See, I would, he he should be dead, right? Like that's it. Like just easy. Sorry, let me just get this thing tweeted out. Alright, so Sora's going to be taking that first stock. Only taking 57 damage. That's actually a pretty sizable lead. Uh, he does have to build some extra damage to solidify the lead when, uh, if slash what, he loses his next stock. You see Purity definitely turning up. Not taking a single hit so far on this new stock and just trying to erase that lead. Oh my. All right. So he grabbed. Ooh. Okay. So this is definitely something that's like conditioned with players since Smash 4 or just that that counter, because you can still act, people will want to like spam like those extra like invincible frame moves, you know, like roll and stuff like that. So. But if you saw, like, if he had the wherewithal, he could have avoided, he would have seen that the uh, the counter wasn't going to last very long. And because he spammed roll, and this is, like, a pretty common condition that people will go through, he's like, okay, yeah, you're going to roll. I'm going to punish you, punish you. And now we see Purity's actually ended up taking the lead. Because he would have to take that stock with that roll read. Uh, not even a read. Super telegraph. And now building mad damage uh, on Suarez. I think Suarez got a little bit... Uh, shooken up by that, just being like things are falling out of control and he doesn't want that to happen again. Because like regardless of what you do to this character, that counter is a damn good counter. Okay. Sora is trying to close the gap. Uh, definitely at a percentage where anything he'll knock won't kill, but should land her in a precarious situation, getting him off stage. And, you know, that's what Yoshi wants to do, you know. Gets you off stage and then does, like, m crazy shit, you know, with either, like, fair, either spiking or sh shooting outward or an air. And just, like, a lot of off stage pressure. So, right now, if uh, Purity were to sneeze on him, uh, he might die. Ooh. I really like the way that he was pursuing. Although, hmm, yeah, no, I don't really think there was much this Swords could have done there. So, yeah, just uh, returning back to the neutral. And up, oh, just like that. See, we knock him off. And he was able to get the kill. So, right now, he's, like, not even knocking on Death's door. He's, like, walking through. Sup, Death, how you doing? And now we're in a one, one stock situation for the both of them. Uh, if Purity is able to do what he did second stock and just build that immense lead uh, and just, like, not get spooked in that or just, you know, does a really good job of avoiding any offstage situation, I, I think he has what it takes to take at least this first game. And I've def I've spoken with Suarez a while ago, and he says that uh, PS2 is actually one of Yoshi's best stages. Um, so it's really interesting to see that if the way it goes, because right now I think that Purity is kind of in the driver's seat. You know, even though, uh, like, Soros was able to get that kill, that was kind of, like, kind of, you know, lucky, you know, for lack of a better term. Oh, my God. And just like that, wow. See, you can tell that Soros isn't even happy about that. That wasn't, like, a wholly, like, kind of earned win, and he just, like, kind of gimmicked him. And the thing about when you get, when you deal something kind of gimmicky, you know, they're, they're not guaranteed to fall for that again. You know, that isn't a foolproof plan. And so, like, Suarez is wholly aware of this. 
And so he's definitely going to be treating that win as a loss. So if he's able to clean up his play and go from there, then we might have a pretty good, uh, we might see a pretty good comeback, like move wise for Suarez. But we'll have to see. Uh, Purity probably is going going into this game with the mindset saying like, hey, all right, I uh, I was actually doing really well in the neutral game, and I did uh, I did some fantastic uh, you know damage building, but I think he got a little bit nervous a few times, any time where Suarez was able to break him, and you saw like those down beats. It's like that's not really like a solid game plan. So if he's aware of that, he'll be like, okay, I can fix my I can tweak my play just a little bit. And I can keep everything else the same, and I can probably seal out this win. But wasn't able to get that kill with that forward smash and ended up landing in a really bad situation. So Suarez actually going to take game one up uh, stock one now. So this is a little bit of a repeat of game one, except now Suarez didn't have like a substantial lead. Ooh, you saw they went for the counter. The AOE not going to be big enough for him to counter the egg and still affect Yoshi. Ooh, ooh, ooh! How's he gonna punish this landing? <gasps> he went for a pivot grab a little bit too soon. Wow, wow. So Baymiller really still has like a lot of her combo game still intact in this game. Interesting. I'm glad that they were able to find like an interesting medium that like doesn't require all the combos like finishing off in like ridiculous kills. Uh, yes, Michael's mashing. This, Michael's mashing. Michael's mashing. Yes, this is cool. <laughs> Yo, your name took me for a goddamn spin. <laughs> All right. So evening up the, the stocks. Um, this is where Purity can close the gap, and we've seen that you know with the combo game that he can do execute with Bayonetta. Uh, he has a really good tool set to close that gap. You know. All he has to do now is just like kind of avoid situations where he will be in a precarious situation. Like, I think right now the main thing that's going to keep him alive versus Yoshi is, uh, I wasn't going to say those offstage shots, but Suarez, knowing that he has a damn good kit even on uh, center stage, hitting with that spike up air. My God, that is. You have to be so ready for that. Ooh, all right, Purity not going down out. Without a fight, uh, baiting the jump and able to snag an up air, a back air to kill him out. So now super even percents. We're gonna see a little bit of a you know, slobber knocker, but okay. Ooh, all right, tech chase from Suarez. Okay. Ooh. So I think the Suarez like it definitely took note from like the semi gimmicky ways that he was able to take a kill. Uh, with those down Bs. Because, like, the thing about it is just like, oh, he's not going to do that, right? He's not. Oh, my God. He actually had no way. Okay. So he's doing those down Bs as, like, combo breakers because, like, Purity might be overthinking it. Oh, my God. Is that it? No. That's not. PS2 is a very wide stage. I think that's also partially why Suarez thinks that this is one of Yoshi's best stages, if, if he still does think that. Uh, but, yeah, like, Yoshi's heavy weight, uh, you know, it's hard to kill him upward, and killing him off the side is even more difficult because stage is just a lot of it. All right. Woo! That would have killed him Smash 4, <laughs> without a doubt. Probably would have been on on the screen for one frame. Balloon DI or not. Jesus. Oh, my God. That was spooky. Oh, my God. I Woo! All right. Purity doing a really good job all the way till in the end, but wasn't able to seal it out. And uh, yeah, Suarez moves on.